What's going on, E Nation fans? This is the Impress 48 here, and before you guys watch this episode of Racing Stories, um, I made a mistake because right before I uploaded this episode, apparently I did my research wrong while making a video because IndyCar raced at Darlington four times and not once, and I thought IndyCar only raced there once because to be fair, I was watching old IndyCar races a while then and I saw an IndyCar race at Darlington in 1950, which is the topic of this video. And um, I thought they only raced there once, but apparently three other races uh, were from the 4th of July. You can see like the dates on the screen. So yeah, I could, I can't edit the video now. I can't remake the video now. So I guess you just gotta deal with me saying, oh, IndyCar raced there once. So yeah, anyway, Hope you guys enjoyed this video regardless. This is Ian Press 40 signing off. Enjoy the video. Happy NASCAR throwback weekend for you NASCAR fans out there. And welcome back to another episode of Racing Stories. And today, in honor of NASCAR throwback weekend, let's do a story about Darlington. However, once again, it's about IndyCar. That's right, folks. There was a time when... Darlington first opened up in 1950. There was a different motorsports type series that raced at Darlington three months after the inaugural Southern 500. And that's true. IndyCar has raced at Darlington before, and it was only one time. So in honor of Throwback Weekend at Darlington, how about I do a story of the time when IndyCar raced at Darlington? This is the 1950 Darlington 200, IndyCar's only race at Darlington. Personally, I expected this episode to be short, but to be honest, there's not a lot of information about the race. However, when I was watching a lot of old school IndyCar racing in the USAC era and saw IndyCar racing at Darlington, I really wanted to talk about it. So because there is not a lot of information about it, I might as well talk about what went on with the race and all that fun stuff. The Darlington 200 was the 13th and final race of the 1950 Champ Car Series Championship. The race took place on December 10th, 1950. Tickets for the race were 50 cents. 10,000 race fans attended the race, 15,000 less than the inaugural Southern 500, three months prior. Bill Schindler started on the pole with 110.837 miles per hour. That is 28 miles per hour faster than Curtis Turner's 1950 Southern 500 pole speed of 82.034 miles per hour. I know that this is a no brainer since we all know Indy cars are faster and better than stock cars, but screw it. I'd like to add some fun facts, alright? Anyway, 30 cars qualified for the race, 26 cars made the race, the 4 drivers that did not qualify for the race were Mac Hellings, Bayless Leverett, Hank Rogers, and Bobby Ball. The race was a 160 lap race. The race started off with 3 lead changes. Bill Schindler led lap 1 and 2, Dwayne Carter led lap 3 and 4. Finally, 1950 Indy 500 champion Johnny Parsons would lead the next lap and would dominate the race. What do I mean by that? He led the next 157 laps and would win the race. The margin of victory between 1 and 2 was 18.14 seconds. Bill Schindler led 2 laps and finished 2nd. And Dwayne Carter would only lead 1 lap and finish 21st. And I'm not sure why. It says DNF according to Racing Reference. 15 cars finished the race. 9 cars finished on the lead lap. The race had no cautions. The only two drivers that crashed were Walt Brown, who finished 18th, and Bill Mackey, who finished 22nd. The race lasted an hour, 54 minutes, and 47 seconds. Parsons Darlington win would be his 8th career AAA IndyCar win, and is the only winner to win an IndyCar race at Darlington. Henry Banks, who only won one race at Detroit, won the 1950 AAA IndyCar Championship. I am one of those IndyCar fans who want to see more ovals back in IndyCar. However, I would not bring IndyCar back at Darlington. Personally, the cars are too fast for a very narrow and tough track like Darlington. Those cars would easily hit the wall and break their suspension and crash. So if you want to see IndyCar back at Darlington, eh, just play iRacing and experience it. And no, this video is not sponsored by iRacing, by the way. 
So yes, this story is not the most interesting racing stories ever, but I think it's awesome to look back at IndyCar history and find out that IndyCar actually raced at Darlington before. I experienced that, and so will you too. Well, how about that for Throwback Weekend? Although this is a short episode, it was very cool to find some research and look at pictures and videos seeing IndyCar racing at the Lady in Black. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Racing Stories. I want to give a shout out to Allendale1 for the video, Dustin Bullock aka DLBTV for letting me use its clips on his videos and credit for the rightful owners who took pictures. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Racing Stories. Comment, like, and subscribe for more and more racing stories. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube channel notifications for more. Thank you all so much for supporting E Nation. This is the Impress 48 signing off and have a great NASCAR throwback weekend.